Let's take a look back at one of my very first shawl designs called Pagona. And I just relaunched this pattern on Ravelry and Westnitz.com with new photos, a new sample, and a bigger size. So when I first designed this shawl, I did it with one skein of fingering weight yarn. I made all of these little shawlettes. Really quick, really easy to knit, but I'm a big guy and you know I love my big schlankets. So I wanted to take this Pagona pattern because I love the shape so much. And all you have to do is just knit more pattern repeats to make it bigger. But I put all of the sizing information in the new PDF. So if you already have this Pagona pattern in your Ravelry library, you should have already received an email update with the new PDF. And if you get the Pagona as a new pattern, you'll get the new sizing as well. So you will still get the small size with one skein, and this is the large size, knit with three skeins of Ching Fiber Yak Singles. This is a really luxurious base because it has soft single ply merino blended with yak and silk. So it's really soft, it's really shiny and drapey with that silk content. And the yak fiber is a gray fiber. So what that does is it gives this gray heathered quality to all the colors. And then when they're dyed on top of that gray base, you get that shadowy, murky, subdued tonality. So even the bright, saturated and splashy speckled colors have this dampened volume to them and it just makes the palettes really harmonious. So I couldn't help myself and I put together all these three skein fades to get you inspired. So here's some of the palettes we put together. We did all the colors of the rainbow from blues and gorgeous greens. We have some pink tones and a lot of yummy neutrals uh, with the Ching Fiber Yak singles, um, with the Yak Silk singles. So this base, it's yeah, really soft and you get a lot of yardage on the skeins as well. So with just three skeins, you get this really big size so you can maximize the length on those three colors. And I always recommend when you're doing your faded color palettes, I fade from light to dark. So you can use the colors in any order that you like, but if you start light, you get that darkest, most saturated color at the border. And I included in the pattern some fading notes. So if you've got some skeins in your stash and wondering how to blend them or when to start striping and blending them together, the pattern includes notes on where to do that for the large size, and you'll get this beautiful painterly effect with Pagona. So this is a really beginner-friendly shawl, and when I first designed this back in 2010, I didn't know that many techniques. I didn't know how to do brioche or do intarsia or lots of lace knitting. So I kept my patterns really simple when I started. And that's what you're going to get with Pagona. If it's your first shawl, you can knit this. It's just knits, purls, some increases. And what I love about the increases is I started playing with that edge explosion idea by adding extra increases to burst the shape outward. And you get a shape that just effortlessly drapes on your shoulders. You don't gotta fuss with it so much because it's, yeah, not a straight wingspan edge. It has this big arched curve. So when you toss it around, it's just gonna stay put. So you get this kind of poncho-y, drapey, shawl -y style that you can wear all kinds of ways. So Pagona is on Ravelry and Westnitz.com and I'll link to the pattern down below. And if you want a kit, we put those at Stephen and Penelope. StephenandPenelope.com, you'll find all these rainbow selections of kits. And if you ever want some help picking out a custom palette, or you have a color inspiration or idea in mind, you can always email us at info at StephenandPenelope.com. So just send us an email and we love putting palettes together for you. But check out those kits linked below. And I can't wait to see how you reinterpret this Westnitz Classics pattern. So share your progress with hashtag Pagona and we'll make some beautiful new schlinkets and make those little shawls just keep on knitting them bigger and bigger and it's one of those patterns you can just bind off at any time. So if you think you're running out of yarn, just bind off, knit a couple garter ridges and I included two different bind offs to choose from in this pattern. So I hope that gets you inspired for some new spring summer shawl wearing and uh, I'll make some more fun videos and maybe I'll uh, look back at some other Westnitz classics patterns 
and see how to reinterpret and reimagine them for the yarn that we have today. So I'll see you all in the next video and thanks for watching.